social exchange theory. This is an economic theory of why relationships will either maintain or they will break down and it's based on economic terminology and makes references to profit and losses and costs and rewards in terms of that leading to satisfaction and commitment within a relationship. So the basic assumption of this theory is the chances of a person staying in the relationship is determined by their own assessment of what they get out of the relationship versus what they put into the relationship. So if they perceive themselves getting more rewards than the cost of them putting into the relationship, then they will feel happier and they will be more likely to stay in that relationship. Whereas if they feel they get very little rewards and they put a lot into the relationship, they will become dissatisfied and therefore are more likely to terminate the relationship. So profit and loss is a key feature of this theory. Now it assumes that all social behaviour is a series of exchanges, including uh, romantic relationships. Now an individual will try to maximise their rewards, their profit and minimise their costs, their loss. So they are trying to make sure that they get the most out of the relationship. Now, it also suggests that we develop a comparison level in which we compare our romantic relationship against. So it's based on our experiences and what we expect in a relationship. If we deem that our relationship is better than a comparison level, then again, we will feel like we are in a profit and feel happier and we are more likely to stay in that relationship. Equally, we have comparison levels for alternatives. So whether we will be better off in another relationship or just ending the relationship and being single, or if we will incur some costs by ending the relationship. So will we be worse off if we were to end the relationship? Now, in terms of evaluation, we have some supporting evidence. So participants completed a questionnaire over a seven month period concerning rewards and costs in relationships. And it was found that there was a link, there was an association between maintenance of relationship and um, profit and losses. So whether they were in a profit, then they were more likely to maintain that relationship. However, it's culturally biased. It tends to only explain Western relationships and more short-term relationships as it's concerning give and take. Therefore, we might not be able to apply it to all cultures and we might be ignoring um, cultural differences if we were to apply it to all cultures and we'd be minimising those differences so it'd be beta bias to do so. Now, other explanations. So it's been argued that there are two times two types of intimate relationships and social exchange theory cannot be applied to all types of relationships. So there is an exchange couple where they're out to seek um, the most that they can get out of the relationship and they keep a mental record of profit and loss. However, there's also a communal couple where each partner gives out concern for the other. So therefore we can't apply it to all relationships. There are some useful real world applications though could be used um, to help with marriage counselling. So unsuccessful marriages report a lack of positive behaviour exchanges with their partner. So therefore we can use it to try and um, help with marriage counselling and uh, relationship counselling. There's issues surrounding the testability though. So most of the research is artificial research or lab based. So therefore, even though we have supporting evidence, real life research has been less supportive of the theory in the real world. So yes, there might be some evidence of dissatisfaction in artificial research, but does it apply in real life? Well, it's not been as supportive. So we've got issues with that. Now, in terms of our AO3 sort of style essay questions, you could have a 16 marker just on social exchange theory. So outline and evaluate the social exchange theory of relationships. Or you could have more of a broad one, so outline and evaluate one theory of the maintenance of romantic relationships. So again, you could talk about social exchange theory in this, or equity theory, or investment theory. So remember for a 16 marker, you'd probably do two AO1 paragraphs of about 
50 to 100 words each. So the key assumptions of it, and then you talk about profit and loss, comparison level and comparison level for alternatives. Then three to four evaluation points, trying to remember to point evidence, explain and link. If we can include any counter arguments, any issues and debates in there. So linking the idea of culturally bias, that would be beta bias to apply it to all cultures. So if we can embed those issues and debates in the evaluation, it shows the examiner you are being synoptic and you can make links to other areas of the course that you have studied.